How's it going guys? I just wanted to make a video about my Anycubic Chiron 3D printer. Um, I really do love this printer. It is really big um, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. It came with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I currently have a 0.8 millimeter nozzle on it and uh, I just wanted to show that you can print a lot of really big... It's, it's nice to have a printer with a huge print bed. Um, this one did cost me 600 bucks on Amazon. I don't know what they go for right now. But it's built very sturdily, and it was uh, mostly assembled when I got it, too. So this is an example of something that I have printed on it. This is a 3D printed temple, an LDS temple, um, that was... Well, so this is the Provo City Center Temple um, from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I printed it for my wife, and uh, we got married in this temple. So this fits on the bed, and I printed it on this printer. It took it like four or five days to print it, but it did a beautiful job, and it's really nice to be able to print huge um, objects on it. And of course, I mean, it didn't even go, you can see it didn't even go like near the top of the printer. Um, this is also a license plate cover, which I was just kind of measuring the, um, this one was just a practice one to make sure that it was the right dimensions. And I printed that one a little bit earlier, and it uh, fits very nicely on this. So it's nice to be able to print big um, objects that you can use for other machines or whatever as well. Like I have a filament dryer, which I uh, use just to dry out my PETG filament. And I printed just kind of a big cylinder on this bed uh, to be able to use for that. Also, I can print parts for other 3D printers. Like this is my ANET A8 and I can print replacement parts for it that are big. I mean, I could actually fit, if I wanted to, I could fit any piece of this frame on this print bed. And so that's really nice to just have a giant uh, print bed with that. So I just wanted to, I guess, make a quick review. I don't know, just my thoughts about having a really big 3D printer and uh, just kind of different sizes of printers. It's nice. And then if I want something with a little more accuracy, I use something like my... Um, King Rune over here, which is a pretty good one, and I have a lot of good things to say about it. I've also had to, uh, you know, make some adjustments, like some calibration stuff with this, uh, but it's been a good, really good one too, and I, I like having a giant printer and a smaller printer to be able to um, have those, I guess, just that variety. So anyway, thanks you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps me out a lot, and uh, Make sure you hit that subscribe button too, and we'll be making more videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.